Uh, well, first, thank you everyone for being here. It's always great to have lots of media in the room and um, special shout out to Just Buff Nation for coming out like they did. Um, for us, that means everything, you know, because most of us have been here a long time and worked really hard to build a program that everyone can be really proud of on and off the court. And so to have that many people here supporting is awesome. Um, really proud of our team. I thought, you know, we had a great week of preparation. Uh, our focus was really good the last couple days. We were dialed into like game plan and scout. Um, our upperclassmen, uh, Jalen in particular, talked a lot to the group this week about um, playing in the Pac-12. Everything is harder, you know, and you got to have a, a more focused mindset, a more disciplined approach. Just everything has to be elevated, and our team, I think, really did that. Whether we were up or down, or it didn't really matter. We stayed locked in. So super proud of our team. Great win, and. Um, yeah, we'll enjoy it for about a day. <laughs> Jalen, uh, you guys closed the game on a 23-4 run after being down by eight. Uh, it seemed like defense kind of locked in at that point. Is that? I know that's kind of you guys' calling card. Do you feel like that's what happened during that last eight minutes? Um, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't even say our defense changed. We just kept the same intensity for 40 minutes, I would argue. Um, and it was just about going out there and doing our job. Um, and at the end of the day, um, no matter what's on the scorecard everybody did their job today for the most part and I think that's what what got us through um but our defense yeah I think that was the best defensive game 40 minute game we've had all year and that's what we yeah. need to do it. and we're getting back to to Colorado basketball with that how those last eight minutes feel though? you guys are down by eight mm -hmm. to close like that mm -hmm. how that feel that you guys are on that run um I actually didn't even pay attention that we were down by eight. I know coach Jay called a timeout um but I mean it was just the same for, for me, I can't speak for everybody, but I just went in with the same mentality I had the whole game, which was to be aggressive. So um, nothing really changed. Um, and and it, basketball's a game of runs, and Utah's a great team. And we talked about all, all week, like, they're going to go on a the run. They, they're just built like that offensively, but it's about how you withstand it and how you come back from it. Jared, when you guys have the amount of fast break points you guys did today, I mean, how, you, you did 29. I mean, how much was that part of the game plan? I mean, you also had 23 points about 20 turnovers. I mean, how much were you impressed with how you were able to disrupt what Utah wanted to do offensively and turn that into points on the other end for you guys? Yeah, okay, here, just so you guys know, that's always the game plan. So if we're not doing it, it means we're not executing the game plan. Um, no, I'm just joking. But we do like to play fast in transition. Uh, so does Utah. Um, but that was definitely a part of our, you know, mindset going into the game was to look for opportunities to be aggressive in transition, whether that's kick aheads or, you know, off the bounce or post players running the floor or whatever. Um, one thing that I just, a lot of people don't recognize, I told Arnett this a couple times during the game, but her ability to run the floor, um, the way that she did time and time again, like she opened up Jalen's layups. Like Jalen's getting to the rim because of the way she's running the floor and, and other post players as well. Um, so just great, great tenacity, you know, and focus on that. But yeah, forcing turnovers, uh, like Jalen said, we have not been defending, you know, as well as we've wanted to throughout the year. And we've refocused on that the last couple of weeks. I thought our defense creating offense was great. And how fun just to be part of a game like this it, at the end of December I and mean, it felt like a, a lead eight, sweet 16 kind of battle with two top 12 teams. And then you have USC, UCLA later today. I mean, how spoiled do you guys feel that you're yeah, very spoiled. You know, everybody that chose to come to this conference, including transfers and, um, you know, coaches and everybody, like, we, we know how hard it is. We know how tough it is, and we want that. That's why we chose it. Um, but it's going to be, you know, just mental approach is going to be really important going forward because this was a great win. We're super excited, and then the next game is going to be just as tough, you know, and then the next game is going to be just as tough. So bless you. So um, it's going to be important to be able to, you know, really enjoy the moment, play great, and then refocus pretty quickly. Jr., I kind of along those lines a little bit. Um, I know you always want to take care of business at home, given how competitive the Pac-12 is shaping up to be this season. Yeah. Now, how critical is it to any championship aspirations that you get these results at home? It is critical. Yeah, I mean, you you want to win them all. Um, when every other night is a top 10 team, that's that's not likely that anybody will run the table, um, you know, in this conference because it's just so darn good. But winning at home is really important. And again, the support that we had in the stands goes a long way in helping us. Like, we'll do our part. We need our community to help us, you know, do their part as well. That was really great. Um, for Aaronetta, going up against one of the top players in the country, um, you guys finished with 18 points, just always working for you. And how does it feel to, you know, a solid game against one of the country's top players? 
Well, yeah, I'd say Pee Wee's like probably one of the strongest players I go against in conference. Um, but just like not giving up, constantly going at her, making her work defensively to try to tire her out. I mean, she's a really good player. She's going to get hers, but just being able to respond on the other end. I think you played a lot in the fourth quarter with four fouls, too. Mm -hmm. Just did anything change for you there? No, you were close. Honestly, no. Like, I had four fouls. You either foul out and be aggressive, or the only option was to be aggressive, so that's what I focused on. Kind of piggybacking on that. She, she had it going in the first half, and then in the second half, it felt like you guys made it a lot tougher on her. I think she turned the ball over five times mm -hmm. after that. But what was kind of the adjustment or the mentality change or whatever to, uh, to kind of make that adjustment, make it more difficult for her in the second half? Um, I think just more pressure, making her more uncomfortable. I thought in the first half, she got a lot of easy like drives to the rim and just open shots. So just the adjustment was just to be more aggressive, make her have to make a different decision than what she wants to do. Yeah, it seemed like you found a uh, really found the five you needed today in that in that fourth quarter, and, and kind of wrote it. And Sarah was obviously a big part of that. I mean, at what, at what point did you realize this was kind of the, the group that you were going to close the game with today? Um, I don't know. I mean, I think we have tremendous depth, and I think you know there's going to be some nights that some players need to be on the floor based on who they're playing or how they're playing, um, you know, and what how they're hurting us or how we're trying to you know attack them. Um, I think we trust everybody, you know, that plays. We trust them to come in and do their job. And I thought Sarah was incredible on the glass tonight, which we desperately needed. They're a really good rebounding team. Um, you know, and then her, her defense was great to be able to contest the perimeter, but also get out and get a couple pick sixes um, and lay them up. Like, really, really great minutes. But I, I know that our team stays really focused. So whoever's in at the end of the game is going to be, like, dialed in and as well as everybody else on the bench focused and, and dialed in. Sarah, I mean, you came here from how much fun was it for you to be able to be in a game like this, but also contribute like you did today? Yeah, it was cool. I think, you know, like first game in the Pac-12, um, there's a different style than the SEC, I guess, but I think it was just really fun. And literally exactly what you said, this is, you know, the reason that I came here. You know, playing at high competition every single day, day in, day out. It's exactly what I wanted. I know you always like to rebound, but was that a message given to you, like you need to rebound today? Mm -hmm. By everyone. Jalen promised me dinner. <laughs> she <laughs> promised that she would buy me dinner. So, I yes. Did. <laughs> I did. <laughs> that was worth the, worth the dinner, whatever it cost. Not it that was I was bribed it. or anything, but. <laughs> <laughs> so, where are you going for dinner? I don't know. It's on her. I, okay. I actually really did challenge her. That's like, good. I like that. Well, we live together. So I went in her room like I always do because I'm bored half the time. So, <laughs> and I was like, man, if you, you get these stops and you, you go crazy, I'll buy you dinner. So, yeah. Are you okay with it? Yeah. No? <laughs> Coach, uh, with, with Clay, was there anything wrong with Clay tonight? Or was it just foul, foul trouble? trouble. Yeah, foul trouble early. Sometimes it's a – well, it's never a good thing. You know, sometimes, though, I told her going into the second half, these would be the freshest legs you've ever had, you know, because she had two fouls in the first three minutes, um, you know, but then it's sometimes it's hard to get going after you've been sitting, uh, you know, for all that time, it's hard to get going and um, just matchups, you know, on the three point line, the way that they were shooting them, or the way that they do shoot the ball. Um, we just felt like we needed more of a guard type player that could, you know, really truly guard and switch on the perimeter if we needed to. Um, and sometimes, as you said, like when things are going well, you don't really want to disrupt it. You just want to keep it going. Um, but no, she's healthy and fine and going to be great. And, and with that, I mean, she obviously had the foul trouble, but then Sarah had a big game, and I thought Charlotte gave you really good minutes. Yeah. Well. Is that part of why, hey, let's just kind of go with what's working? Um, yeah, I think we'll always try to go with just what's working. You know, like sometimes we end up a lot of the times with Jalen and Kendall in together, and it's not necessarily that you need two point guards on the floor, but they play really well together, um, and they defend really, really at a high level. And so sometimes, you know, it doesn't necessarily make sense on paper, but for us, it just feels right. And so in that moment, um, yeah, again, it's usually matchups and just what's working. Coach, oh, there was a stretch near the end of the game where Aaron got knocked down a jumper, Jalen knocked down a jumper, and then Frida makes a defensive play blocking a three-pointer. And yeah. it felt like kind of an encapsulation of the growth of this team over the years with the three of them making plays in areas of the game where you're not typically accustomed to that. Yeah, yeah. Do, do, you, do you kind of see that, not just today, but this year where everybody's really grown into, yeah. into, to, to make you guys into the top 15? Yeah, what a, what a cool way to look at it. I, I love that. Like, 
you know, Aaronette's jumper that she hit in the short corner was one of my favorite buckets of the night, you know, because we're she can shoot it. Like in practice, Aaronette yeah. is shooting it um, at a really high clip. And sometimes in the games, you know, she's thinking I'm going to pass, you know, and, and just get low post looks. But I was so proud of you when you took that shot because it tells, like, I know she can shoot it, but it tells everybody else, you better come guard me, you know, because I can knock down these shots as well. Um, and so, yes, I, I think that's a really cool way to look at it. Like uh, Frida growing defensively, Nettie growing, you know, all of that's awesome. Coach, can you talk about your full court press that you put on and, and what goes into making that so successful? Yeah, I mean, Coach T runs our defense. Um, you know, just like I said, Kendall and Jalen together, you know, and then Sarah was kind of playing that safety over the top. Um, and just depth. We have a little bit more depth right now. Um, and so being able to utilize that and uh, force them to have to speed up a little bit, make them work even just to catch the ball when you have to do that for a long time, it's really tiring. Um, and I thought our team did a really good job of that. Once you have a little bit of success, we saw it in the last game we played that we had success doing that. Um, you know, it just kind of frenzies a little bit and it was good for us. Jill, do I go by you, Jill? <laughs> no, um, I I'm mean, okay. Yeah. <laughs> no, um, I just kind of um, went into the game with an aggressive mentality. And um, we've been coming out slow, and I put that on my shoulders. Um, just because I always say if I don't bring the most energy and passion on the court, then I'm not doing my job for my team. So I kind of took that personal, personally today and actually being in the pack zone on TV, you don't, you don't get the opportunity to start off slow and then come out with a lot of wins. So I just wanted to get my team the best um, position to win. And like I said, I really um, shout out these two. Um, just because overall, like, Nettie's fourth quarter and Sarah's rebounds, like, we wouldn't have won the game without it. So I actually give more credit to, to them than me because, I mean, I just made layups and jump shots. So they did all the hard Hit work down there. Yeah, was good, too. It was a party, too, like, early in this game with, with Quay being in foul trouble and them all over Frida, so she didn't have much, you know, the work that there was a party, too. It felt like you had to take more scoring upon yourself for this. No, I was just impressive, honestly. Um, they asked me to be aggressive, um, and like I said, I know that it starts with me, so that was just the mentality going to the game was to just give them all and be aggressive. And Nettie actually asked me before the game why I was so happy, yeah. and I told her I felt good today. So uh, <laughs> that just went with it. Anything else? I want to ask both of you, because you've been here for the longest, but to see 7,300 people in this in the stands today, <laughs> what's it like for you from where you came from? Um, I think it's just a testament to this program and the hard work we've done. Um, and I was telling the team, like, we're in that space where we're not going to sneak up on anybody anymore. But now it's about, you know, solidifying what we've done and not just, like, getting somewhere and not being able to sustain it. So I think it's just a testament. And we play fun basketball and it's fun. And, and um, I think the community is recognizing that. And, and it's just a testament to all the work we've done over the years. Yeah, I don't have much to add. You know, it's taken a a lot of work and blood, sweat and tears, you know, to build our program. And these guys have all, um, you know, helped do that through just a lot of hard work. And it's really great for the community to recognize that. And like Jay said, it's really fun basketball. You know, it's it's exciting. It's up tempo. It's aggressive. It's, um, you know, something that I think people really enjoyed watching. All right. Thanks, everybody.